in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are celebrating the 33rd Sunday in ordinary time, if not the last but one Sunday of this liturgical year A. And the readings continue to prepare us for the eschatological times, the end times. The theme which comes clearly from today's readings is much has been entrusted to each and every one of us. Much has been entrusted to us. The question that flows from there is that if much has been entrusted to us, what do we do with that much? And that refer us immediately to the first reading where we see that lady, trustworthy lady who used very well her talents. And also it refers us also to the second reading where we are being invited to be children of the light by acting according to God's will, by using well what we have received from God. And it refers us clearly to the gospel reading whereby the three servants receive each and every one the talents according to their capability, their capacity, or their strength. I want also, also to try to see some historical meaning of what the talent is. A one talent, according to our research, was the equivalence of the salary of one agricultural laborer of, for 20 years. So we imagine that the one who received five talents could use it for 100 years. And the one who received two for 40 years. The one who received one talent for the salary of an agricultural laborer for one year, eh, for 20 years. So we see that each and everyone acted according to the brain capacity and the openness to the Holy Spirit to guide us, to guide them. One bar, the last one buried his. And that's what God does not want us to be like. It, the team also refers us to the team of grace. Grace is a free gift from God without merit, without debt. It's not like God is paying us because we owe him. No, it's a free gift. And that is what helps us also to work towards our salvation. God saves us. The trend God saves us. And through our faith in Jesus Christ and by the work of the Holy Spirit, not through our strength, not through our money, not through our physical appearance, not through our degrees we have in school, no. So, to mean that we have received each and every one according to our capacity, our strength. No one should complain him or herself that I don't have this amount of money, I don't, I don't have this capacity or surface of land, I don't have these cars, I don't have these houses, so I cannot do much. Whatever you have, do with it. The main thing is that everyone is rich in his own way. Once you have this uh, health, once you have physical strength, psychological strength, spiritual strength, you have a lot to offer to the world. God has given us all these in order to continue building his church, in order to continue building the kingdom wherever we work, wherever we live. And that refers to that pact and agreement that was signed between the Lutherans in, and the Catholics in 1999 concerning justification. In summary, the document says that we are being justified or saved by the triumph God through our faith in Jesus Christ and by the works of the Holy Spirit, not through our own strength, not as we merit, but we need to cooperate. We need to work towards our salvation. And that's what we have been invited, to imitate and identify ourselves with the three servants. Who do you identify yourself with among the three? The one who complains, the one who buried the, the talent, or the one who makes good use of the lead you have? My dear brothers and sisters, we should remember that saints did not become so because they have done grandiose or majestical or massive works, but because they did well the little things they were supposed to do. Amid small things we do, let us do them with love, with charity, with faith, and we do them also with our, we trust ourselves in it. And that's how God will save us. May Almighty God bless you to be able not to complain, but to know that you have received something. 
What have you received? Offer it. Make good use of it. And may he grant you the graces that you need to continue recognizing that waking up in the morning is by his grace. And that's the gift you receive. Make good use of that. Being able to work in your various places is your talent. May he bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Witness the gospel values by your lives and bear more fruits with the talents you have received. Have a blessed Sunday and be blessed.